Hey guys, it's me Talha and uh, this will be a two-part tutorial in which I will show you how to model this cool looking beach house in Revit. Before I get started, I would like to suggest you check out my website learnrevitonline.com to get my Revit advanced courses as well as you can check out my Patreon to get all my Revit project files. Now let's get started. So here I am in Revit and first uh, let's create some new levels. So let's go to the south elevation here and first I will just change the height of this level. Let's make it 11 feet and we can just select this level again and press CS on the keyboard to create similar and I will create uh, two more uh, of this now let's select this one and make it 14 feet and this one also will make 14 feet now let's go back to level one and we will create slanted walls here so select wall from here and then let's create a rectangle here 17 by 15 feet let's make it 17 feet on this side and here on this side it will be 15 feet perfect now let's go to 3d view and uh, we got our walls here let's select all of these and change the top constraint to level 4 perfect now we can create the slanted walls so first i will select this one and change the cross section from vertical to uh, slanted and let's give it an angle I will put negative 15 degrees enter there you go we got this slanted wall here now uh, we can just delete this one and copy this to the other side so let's go to front view and copy this from here from this corner let's put 17 feet enter there you go the other walls are uh, also uh, updated here now let's go to level 2 and create a floor here so first let's just try to take these walls to the center here now let's create a floor here let's create a rectangle like this and then change the width 70 feet and here just drag this uh, temporary dimension to this line and then make it 30 feet now let's select all of this and just move it I just try to take it to the center let's uh, just move that to the midpoint of this wall and we can just move it uh, around 15 feet perfect now let's click finish and go back to 3d so we got our floor here now we can change the thickness of this floor so let's click edit type duplicate let's call it generic 3 feet click ok and just put the th uh, thickness here 3 feet click ok ok again perfect now we can just copy this to the other level so let's click uh, copy to clipboard here and then from this drop down I will select align to selected levels and just uh, copy that to level 3 click ok perfect so we got the basic structure uh, for this building now I want to create these smooth edges here so for that we can use void form to create the uh, smooth edges here so let's go here select model in place and press G on the keyboard to uh, select the generic models click OK click OK again and let's go here from this drop down select uh, void sweep from here now we can use pick path and just pick the edges of this floor perfect let's click finish and go back to modify sweep again and select edit profile go to the front view and we'll just create a profile here so first i will just create six inches uh, on this side and, and let's create lines like this and on this side uh, i want to create five feet and then and create a 10 inches line here and just close this profile now let's use fillet arc to create these smooth edges here so first let's click on this line and then here and just create an arc here now on this side also click this line then this one and create an arc like this perfect so we have created uh, something like this now we can just mirror this sketch so let's select all these lines 
and then mirror just uh, mirror it like this and then use move and just move this line uh, to this floor here so we have created these two profiles now we can just click finish and go to modify sweep again and click finish again there we go let's press sd on the keyboard for shaded view to cut this void from this floor we need to use cut geometry tool so we have that here just select cut geometry make sure multiple cut is checked select this void uh, sweep and then select this floor and then this one there we go we have created this kind of uh, shape here now let's click finish model and go back to level 2 and let's create the curtain walls here so let's go to architecture select wall and select storefront from this drop down let's use a rectangle and just create a rectangle like this perfect let's go back to 3d so we've got our uh, curtain walls here now let's select all of these walls just hover over any of these and then hit tab key to highlight all the joined walls and then go here click attach top or base and then uh, select this floor click delete elements there you go the curtain walls now attached to the floor here now let's edit this curtain wall i want to increase the spacing between uh, these mullions and i want to remove the horizontal mullion as well so let's select this wall make sure you have selected the curtain wall not just the mullion or the panel let's go here click edit type duplicate let's click ok uh, i want to increase the vertical spacing to 8 feet and we don't want any horizontal mullions so let's just make it none click ok delete grid lines there you go got this curtain wall here now we can change the other curtain walls as well so let's select all three of these here and change the wall type to storefront 2 which we have just created just click delete grid line perfect now let's select this uh, curtain wall and go to the front view here and just move it until here i will just move it until the edge of this wall perfect let's create an opening here uh, on this wall so for that we can just go to architecture tab and then uh, we have the opening tools here let's use wall opening just pick the face of this wall here and just draw an opening here like this perfect let's go to right view select this opening and we'll just move it to the left let's select the opening again and change the height of this let's try minus 21 feet perfect so now let's add a door here to this curtain wall so before that i will just go back to right view again and select this uh, select this grid line just unpin it and move it to the left until this wall and let's change the visual style to wireframe and we will create another uh, mullion here so let's go here select grid line and just create a grid line here and it will automatically create a new mullion now let's create a horizontal grid line here like so and then uh, just select this grid line by pressing tab key on the keyboard and then click here add or remove segments and just remove the uh, these segments here we only want to create a door uh, on this wall here so let's uh, just replace this panel uh, with the door so before that we need to load a door family let's go to doors here and then let's use this one click open and hover over the edge of this curtain wall here and then hit tab key a couple of times to highlight this panel 
and then click unpin and uh, just select the door from this top down perfect so we have uh, created this door here now if you notice we have this opening on this side uh, on the side of this door here we can fix that by uh, creating an extrusion here so let's go to right view again and go to architecture select model in place and let's use generic models again click ok ok again and select extrusion and then click here set work plane pick a plane and pick the face of this door here now let's create a rectangle here and then uh, we can just give an off offset here 6 inches and create another rectangle we'll just change the visual style to hidden line so we can see this uh, sketch now let's use TR on the keyboard to trim this line trim here as well and then delete this one and now to trim this one we first need to split it so SL for split split this line then use TR trim again so we have created this sketch for the extrusion now let's click finish and go to left view here and change the visual style to wireframe and let's just drag it uh, until this wall here and then on this side we can just drag it until uh, this slanted wall perfect now let's delete this extra uh, part of this extrusion for that we can use void extrusion let's set the work plane again pick a plane this time we will pick the face of this extrusion by pressing the tab key uh, we can select this face and then use pick lines pick the edge of the slanted wall and just uh, close this sketch use tr and trim this extra line here then click finish and let's go here and select this void and just drag it through this extrusion on both sides i think we need to change the height of this door but before that let's detach these two extrusions first let's select the uh, let's select this extrusion and then edit work plane just click dissociate and let's select void edit work plane and click di dissociate perfect now let's click finish model go to right view and change the visual style to wireframe let's select this grid line by pressing tab key on the keyboard a couple of times and then we can use arrow keys to just take this uh, grid line under uh, this extrusion you see the door is also moving with the grid line perfect so we have finished modeling the first floor uh, of this modern beach house the video is already too long so i will stop this tutorial right here in the next part we will work on uh, level 2 and create swimming pool and stairs and add other details uh, to this project so stay tuned for that that's it for this video i hope you have learned something new so please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already don't forget to turn on the post notifications and don't forget to check out my patreon to get all my david project files and yeah i will see you guys in the next video